thought that was your best game in a while. You know, you really did it on offense and defense. Just what did what, you think of your game? And you really helped shut down Romello White, too. What, what was the key to that? Um, I think we were just playing solid, uh, sticking to the game plan that we had. Um, we knew that they were a, uh, you know, we should be compact on defense. Um, they like to get to the rim a lot, very physical. Um, so I think I helped play a big part in uh, stopping things down low. And uh, when people were, were trying to drive, just making them hesitate on taking shots that would normally be there. Um, and on the offensive end, just um, getting back to, you know, how I was um, earlier, just being a, a ball mover and not really taking shots I shouldn't really take. Um, and just letting the offense flow through me and through everybody else and not really stopping it up, just letting things go. Um, and I, so I, I think that's how I helped on both offense and defense. And you guys had a real rough week on the road, you know, a couple weeks ago, and now you've won three straight SEC games. It's kind of how good does it feel to bounce back like that and kind of what's the team's confidence level right now, do you think? It feels good. Um, you know, we always got to take it one game at a time, but seeing that we're finally above 500, um, we just got to keep pushing and uh, see what the next steps have for us. Okay, I, I got a couple more, but I'll turn it back to Mike. Thank, thanks, Connor. Curtis. Hey, Connor, how challenging has it been for you the last few games as you've been dealing with some matchups, trying to work your way in, into the rotation? And then, you know, how much does it help the confidence, you know, to get out there and have a game like you did tonight? Uh, it definitely helps. Um, it just shows you that every game is different. Every game has its own identity. Um, some games um, are really good matchups. Some games are harder matchups for different people. Um, so it just, you know, it's, it's really good to, you know, have a, a good matchup and to really perform to where that do what I can do. Um, I think it was good for my confidence. Hutch? Yeah, Connor, along those lines, you haven't been playing very much, but then you got 18 minutes against Vanderbilt. You didn't have a, a big statistical game, but how much did getting that playing time under your belt against Vanderbilt kind of get you ready for tonight? Yeah, um, I definitely think it got me better, got me ready for tonight. Um, just getting more minutes in there, getting more reps, um, getting back into the flow of things. I uh, definitely think that has that helped tonight. Nate? Just how big an impact did Devo Davis have in that first half surge of his new field? It was great. Um, I remember we were down four. He came in and he had some great stops, some great layups and some great shots. Um, and he really turned the whole momentum of the game right there. And it just took off from there. And so he played a, a huge part, especially in that first half. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's a great player and he really helped us. Thank you. Scotty. Hey, Connor, coach just said that he liked uh, JD's shot selection tonight and his ability to get in the lane and, and get to the free throw line. What, what did you see out of JD in this one? Yeah, I thought that he did great. Um, he definitely took some great shots, some shots that were there. Um, and it, you know, it caused the defense a lot of trouble um, coming off those ball screens and getting into the lane in transition. Um, I think he was fantastic. Troy. Yeah, Connor, the stat sheet, stat sheet said you have four blocks, but Coach Must said you had five when we talked to him. How many do you think you had? Um, I think I might have had more than that because I, I had a couple tips that I think they probably didn't count. Um, but, you know, it's whatever. How much uh, more of a confidence boost when it, like, ha does that give you when you do get a block? Uh, it's great. You know, I love blocking shots. Um, so being able to, you know, take something from someone or just sending it somewhere else, you know, it's great because, it, you know, gives me momentum to go down on offense and do something else as well. Bob. Yeah, Connor, I, I assume you remember this play. It was it was on the end, you know, towards the locker room in the second half and um, or I guess it was the first half. White goes up and you like put both your hands on and just kind of literally took the ball out of his hands. And, um, you know, here's a, you know, fifth year guy, big, strong guy that started, you know, three years at Arizona State. Started, I mean, what do you remember about that play? I just thought that was really impressive. You just took the ball away from him like it was nothing, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think just something lit up inside me. As soon as he put that ball up, that just told me I got to get that. And so I just took it. And the sad broadcast had you for five blocks. So I'm, I'm not sure what happened on the box. 
But um, I wanted to ask you something about the, this big uh, 12 challenge, too. You guys are going over to Stillwater, and, you know, I guess SEC Pride's on the line. Kind of what, what are your thoughts about the, the big 12 challenge? You're going to go over there and play a pretty good Oklahoma State team. Yeah, um, I'm excited about it. Um, I think it's the first big 12 team I'm going to be able to play, um, but it's definitely going to be a, a good game. We're playing a good team. Um, we're going to get back in the lab tomorrow and really focus on them these next couple of days. Um, I think it'll be a, a good game and, you know. You guys are always playing for yourselves and the fans and everything, but you sort of feel like you're carrying the SEC banner over there too, to a certain extent? Yeah, I think, I think you know, all these games that are going to be played this weekend, you know, carry a lot of weight, you know, because it's just, it's a challenge, you know, it's Big 12 versus SEC. So it seems like every game really counts. And then one more, I know you and Note are, are, are buddies, you know, twins, sort of, <laughs> not quite the same. But uh, what did you think of Note's game tonight? Yeah, I thought he was fantastic. Um, he, you know, kind of did everything for us. He was a, a ball handler, um, really took care of it most of the time. He, um, you know, had great shots, um, found open people. He, um, he just kind of did everything for us, and it was it was good to see him getting back to, you know, how I know he can play.